So your character's sick. They have a disease, or more likely, they just have a common cold. That's a very common thing we have to play. Stuffy, sneezy, coffee, rundown, headachey. But let's talk about the stuffiness. If you watched my video on sneezing and how to make the, the character sneeze, I suggest uh, triggering some sneezing uh, in your own self. That can give you a stuffy sensation. If you think of your uvula, the back of your throat, and physically swallowing to expand your uvula, that gets your stuffiness going as well. Blowing your nose, too, can move some of that stuff forward. You know, you can also do physical tricks, like actually putting something up your nose, a piece of tissue or something like that, getting it up in there, be careful, it doesn't get stuck, but that can help you feel stuffy and give that stuffy sound. When somebody is sick and they're stuffy, they're, they're only going to sound stuffy on certain words. Words with M's, N's, B's, anything that is in your nose when you do it. If you plug your nose and you say meh or duh or buh or duh, uh, most of your vowels are gonna be fine. So you try to mimic those letters and find substitutions for those letters. If you wanted to say Mary had a migraine, Mary had a migraine, Mary. Mary had a migraine. It's really hard to do that, and some people are really good at playing sick with substitutions of letters, and I'm not gonna go into that too much. You also wanna be careful not to play the symptoms too much. Unless you're doing some broad comedy, you don't need to sound super stuffy. If you're sick, you might have the sniffles. You might sniff a lot. You might uh, <clears throat> cough and clear your throat. You might have a headache. You might be tired. You might be on cough medicine, so decide if your character's taking any cough medicine or pills or anything like that, and are they feeling lightheaded, relaxed, does the character have any aches and pains? Be specific about those. Is your neck sore because you didn't sleep well? And play the objective of trying to mask your symptoms. Indicating the symptoms is not acting. That's gonna come off as fake. Feeling this physical sensation of those symptoms and then trying to mask them, clear them out, and just carry on into conversation, you're gonna be fine. And if you're playing diseased, other kinds of diseases, uh, you wanna be very specific about what those diseases are and how you got them. Were you poisoned? Is it a physical disease like cancer, or malaria, bronchitis, or pneumonia? If you've never had that particular disease before or don't know anybody who's had it, you're going to have to use substitutions. And Uta Hagen talks about substitutions all the time. And that's finding something that's similar to bronchitis. You've surely had a, a heavy chest cold before, or you've been in a smoky room and been irritated. Those are things that you can play on. Just heighten them. Pick specific things that you're trying to show, and don't just try to show them. Feel the feelings to get to it, and then try to hide them, overcome them. Try to overcome them as a character, and that will be much more effective. Usually in a script, if somebody is sick or has a headache or has some sort of condition, it's mentioned somewhere in the script. In real life, when we go out and about, we might see somebody who has a headache and we might think they're sick. We might see somebody who's sick and they're really just hot. We might see somebody who's got a cold and they're trying to hide it so we don't notice that they have a cold. But in a script, if it's important for the character, it's gonna be mentioned. Somebody's gonna say, are you feeling okay? You look like you have a headache. Or the character's gonna say, yeah, I have a bit of a headache or I'm a little bit sick today. I'm a little stuffy, sorry. We don't need to see you play it. We just need to see you try to overcome it. You can still be stuff, stuffy and tired, but you showed up to work and you took a cough pill and you're trying to overcome it. So you maybe just have a little bit of a nasal sound. Your eyes might be a little bit droopy, but you're trying not to express those symptoms. That's the trick. So now your character knows how to be sick. Did your character get sick because they were too hot? or because they were too cold? Do you wanna learn how to play hot or do you wanna learn how to play cold? Choose one of those choices now.